Welcome to CKLA Knowledge 6, Lesson 7, Exploration of the Moon. Our purpose for listening today is to describe the experiences of the first astronauts. See if you can describe the first landing on the moon. And listen carefully to understand the word determined. Can you say determined? Remember, the study of outer space is called astronomy. Think in your head, which two countries were in a space race? That was the United States of America and Russia. Think in your head, did the first astronauts who went to space land anywhere? Did the first astronauts who went to space land anywhere? No, they were launched into space, orbited the Earth, and landed back on Earth. What celestial body is close enough to Earth to visit? That's the moon. Listen carefully to identify the steps scientists took to find out what the trip would be like before sending astronauts to the moon. This was the President of the United States many years ago. In 1961, the President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, announced that the United States would send astronauts to the moon within 10 years. This seemed impossible to many people, but President Kennedy and the NASA scientists were determined to succeed. Thus, they started the Apollo program in order to send people to the moon. But there was a lot of work to be done before anyone could get anywhere near the moon. Surveyor 1 was the first spacecraft Americans sent to the moon. But it was an unmanned spacecraft, that is a spacecraft without any people aboard. The purpose of Surveyor 1 was to survey or study the moon's surface. It carried equipment to study the land, temperatures, and other things NASA scientists needed to know before sending people. The Apollo program involved many missions or jobs. The first mission of Apollo 1 was a disaster. The spacecraft caught on fire before they had a chance to launch it. After that, however, the Apollo scientists had many successes. First, there were unmanned missions to test various rockets. This picture shows Apollo 4, an unmanned mission to test a rocket engine. This is the type of engine that would eventually carry men to the moon. Next came manned missions, or missions with people. But these astronauts did not get to go to the moon Instead, they were practicing and testing equipment to make sure everything would work properly. This photo shows the crew of the Apollo 7 mission. Finally, on July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 was launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There were three astronauts aboard, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. This picture was taken shortly before they went on their historic mission. It took four days for Apollo 11 to travel from Earth to the moon. During the launch, the astronauts were sitting in the very top of the rocket. Once it reached outer space, the part they were in broke off from the rocket and continued towards the moon. The rocket was not needed once the ship reached outer space. Michael Collins was the pilot for the command module, which drove the lunar module close to the moon, but did not actually land there. The lunar module, called the Eagle, was attached to the command module during the journey from Earth to the moon. Once they got close enough to the moon, however, the Eagle broke off from the command module and landed on the surface. The command module orbited the moon as Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong descended or went down towards the surface of the moon. This is mission control, where NASA scientists on the ground 
talked to and helped astronauts in space. Meanwhile, as the Eagle approached the surface, hundreds of scientists back at Mission Control were watching their computers nervously to make sure everything went as planned. There is little room for error or mistake in space travel. The NASA scientists monitored every single part of the ship, making sure every fuse and wire was working properly. At the same time, people all over America were glued to their television sets watching the news, also nervously waiting to see what would happen. The Eagle was equipped with television cameras so everyone back home could see and hear everything that was happening 239,000 miles away on the moon. The moon landing excited people all over the world. It took longer than expected, but finally, Neil Armstrong announced the famous words, the Eagle has landed. Great sighs of relief and cheers went up from Mission Control and in living rooms across America. Next, Neil Armstrong prepared to leave the Eagle and step out onto the moon. This picture shows what Americans back home saw on their television sets. As you can see in the picture, was not very clear, but if you look closely, you can see Armstrong about to set foot on the moon's surface. Armstrong stepped down and landed on the fine, soft dust of the moon's surface. With his first step, he said, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. He meant that he himself had taken a small step from the eagle's ladder to the moon, but that step represented a huge leap in terms of the advances humans had made by landing on the moon. Buzz Aldrin followed Armstrong down the ladder both astronauts wore special spacesuits designed to endure the harsh temperatures of the moon's surface. The astronauts conducted experiments to help future astronauts and scientists. The first thing they noticed was their mobility, or how different it felt to walk and move around. The moon has very little gravity compared to Earth. Here on Earth, when you jump up, you come straight back down. Not so on the moon. When you hop on the moon, you stay up for a few seconds and come down rather slowly. The astronauts collected samples of the moon's dust and rocks. Then they planted an American flag in the moon's soil. They had prepared the flag beforehand by inserting wires in it so that it would be firm but appear to be waving even though there is no wind on the moon. Five more Apollo missions landed successfully on the moon after that first mission. In the end, the Apollo astronauts brought back a total of 842 pounds of moon rocks. Many of these rocks are on display in museums around the world. Apollo 17, launched in 1972, was the last mission to reach the moon. Nobody has returned to the moon since. Hmm, what did you learn? Share with a friend something you learned about NASA and the missions to the moon. Try these sentence starters. NASA sent unmanned missions to the moon because, or I think going to the moon was, have fun sharing with a friend. See you back here next time.